black coffee, sparkling water, double barrel. Ah. So, it's the last day of summer, technically, by the calendar. That's where I saw something on the internet. And you know what that means. A lot of people talk about the winter arc. And it's funny how, you know, majority of people, it's actually very true. This is the time where people lock the fuck in, you know? And realistically, uh, it's probably better to lock the fuck in all year round. But, you know, we're humans. We uh, want to enjoy life sometimes too. It doesn't mean to slack off, but I agree. I've been slacking off this last summer and the last few days, weeks, I've been slowly getting back into this mindset. And I was reading my journal and how how disciplined I was, um, you know, a bit over a year ago. And I'm still disciplined now. It's just I... I push discipline in an other area of my life rather than personal growth um it's more towards my business but with that being said you know for for an example today i decided you know what let me get back to, let me i want to i want to do one of my old morning routines and literally by i would say 9 30 i've i woke up did, did push-ups, read the Bible, went for a run. Then I came back home, cleaned my car, cleaned my room, walked my dog. And by like 10.30, I finished reading and now I'll get back to work. And it don't, don't get me wrong. And by the way, this is all fasted, right? <laughs> but don't get me wrong. Um, it is um, a lot of energy, like... I can find myself getting tired around this time, especially fasted, but it's, you feel so productive. You have the rest of the day now to just focus on what you got to do. And I miss that feeling, but what I've realized, you know, moving forward, this one strategy kind of that I've learned it's kind of like step one in a lot of our journeys. And that's really understanding and answering the question of who you are and what you want to be. And because I feel like when you have that distinct goal, you know what you want to be and what you want to do. You can then start building strategies, plans, systems, and daily habits to acquire those goals you know and it's and it depends what you want to be you know obviously we're in the entrepreneur space but if you're satisfied with you know a few hundred thousand a year and you know live a good life you enjoy it maybe um you know start a family and all of that you know it requires effort and work for sure it all does but it it doesn't require as much as if you want to completely demolish an industry, you know, be one of the top and to have some such bigger purpose and realizing that, I don't know, for, for a very long time, I, you know, again, reading my, 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 uh, my, uh, my journal, I've always had the mindset that I'm going to be the best. Whatever I did, you know, at the time, a year ago, I didn't know what I really wanted to do. But I said, like, word for word, I remember reading, I'm like, but that's my gift. My gift is that whatever I decide to do, I'm going to be the best at it. And having that mindset at such an early early stage in your journey for me it was like wow i was impressed by myself like 
obviously I know that now it's kind of like second nature to me but when I like reading it back you know understanding a year or two I was so not the person I am now I was in such a different position different relationships with people and different mindset you know more more on the darker side of life and I and I started to have that mindset for me it was like damn this shit was always it was always meant to be but with that being said there's another thing that I I've learned and if you want especially in business if you want to take over an industry you want to be the top of the top you want to compete with other competitors that are fucking big right you have to understand it's war it's gonna be war and you have to be ready you know to a certain degree when i remember when i first started and you know not even long ago i had this mindset of look there's uh, a peace for everyone and you know i just just do my thing and and it's all gonna be breezy you know no no competition like but realistically yes don't get me wrong there is a piece for everyone but especially especially when you start growing it's going to be war people are gonna come after you it's business money is involved people don't let that shit slide easily because you growing, that means you're taking money away from everyone else. And I genuinely think that's really, really important to know. That you have to be willing to endure. Willing to be ready. That this shit's about to be fucking war. And it's either you... Either you back down... Or you understand it's going to be war and you go through with it. I I feel like as of lately, I've been really building this mindset that it's genuinely a business that I'm running. It's not this side hustle. It's not this fun thing that I'm doing that I'm just doing for fun. Or It's fucking, it's business. It's hard and it's war. I'm going to have competitors. I'm going to have to beat them. I have to beat them. Not, uh, you know, do you do your thing, I do mine. No. And look, don't get me wrong. Again, building communities. Finding likely-minded men or women or people to encourage each other is very, and it's very important. But to a certain degree, it's like your classmates in school. Your friends and all. But if you're out striving for the best grade, they're your enemies as well. And that's why I'm more of the person where I keep my group tight. I keep the people that I see as my team tight, very tight. And then the rest, obviously, you know, I want to help. But the rest, at the end of the day, is competition. And I'm just starting to adopt this mindset. And it's a sad reality. And trust me, I, ever since I was young, I always wanted to help people. And I will. I will. I'm not talking about like you watching or people in my Discord. There, no, no one's my enemy there. But, you know, when you're running a store and you're entering a market, whoever the fuck is running those stores, your competitors, I don't give a fuck who it is. You're my enemy and it's war. I'm coming after you and I'm fucking taking the market. It's this fucking mindset that I think pushes you to the next level. The strategic mindset. I don't know. But again. 
the shit's coming. I'm cooking. That's all I know. I'm like a chef in the kitchen, cooking up. And it's funny because I've talked about how a lot of people go ghost and then only show when the results come. Yes, I make daily videos, I document it. But no one's there behind the scenes. No one knows what I'm cooking up. So, these videos are, are just gonna be like this. Me talking about the mindsets and the, the steps or what I've learned throughout the journey. But one day, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come I'm gonna come out in a video and just look look at all the behind the work scenes what it's led me right now. I'm very excited and it's, it's it's coming soon. Be ready. Cause the people you don't understand the the doubt that I've had from other people, from from even myself, even from your closest people, the doubt literally have on my wallpaper that like I got people to prove fucking wrong and that shit fucking puts a fire up my ass and gets me to work every day it's gonna it's coming just be ready just be ready Julian Tishone will no longer be you know this low key guy low key like you know like very low key I'm making a name for myself. I've been patient. And I've been working. And I never indulge into shiny golden objects. I never bit more than I can chew off. But eventually, that's I'm going to make a name for myself. And it's going to come. In due time. And honestly, I don't need anyone else to believe me besides myself. Because I know. People don't see the thoughts that I have. People don't see the, the things that I do behind the scenes. I know. And that's when I'll fucking see you at the top.